Yo, what's good, fans of Fight Fans? This your boy JB Trap House Boxing, man. I'm back again with another video. Shout out to the LDBC, man. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Share the video all the way to leave your thoughts and comments at the end of the video. And if you're looking for that exclusive street news, go subscribe to Urban Media Fix and hit that notification icon bell so you don't miss this heat that we drop from Urban Media Fix. And go subscribe to the Smoke City Mobcast. And hit that notification icon bell when you go to the Smoke City Mobcast and subscribe. So make sure you do that so you don't miss this heat that we drop every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The LDBC, we get together and we do our live hangout. So make sure you catch that. <sighs> All right. Now, man, I was just, you know, just uh, putting a little video together in my head. And I just thought I'd just drop one. You know what I mean? Why not? And, uh, you know, I pretty much look at it like this, man. And I'm going to run it down how and why I feel this way. Uh, in my opinion, I just think that either one of these dudes get a hold of Anthony Joshua first. And it depending on how, you know, I'm explaining, you know, like the whole Tyson Fury situation and all that. But pretty much if any one of these dudes get a hold of Anthony Joshua first, man, it's a wrap. You know, um, we can start off with, with, with Tyson Fury first, since he's the least inactive. Um, Tyson Fury, to me, in my opinion, I was just stating uh, in somebody's comment, I forgot. But to me, man, I, I think like a, a, a tune-up or two, I'm going to say at least two two fights. The third fight, Tyson Fury. I think he he uh, outboxed Joshua and make him look silly out there all over again, man. Uh, just too basic, man. You know, a guy with the Tyson Fury type of footwork, you know, uh, just how he able to give him different looks, changing angles, you know, just keep Joshua all offset all the time. He Tyson Fury would, would, would obliterate Anthony Joshua, man. He would keep him confused all night, slap him around. It'll be bad for Anthony Joshua, man. He he couldn't know how to deal with 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 Fury's awkwardness, you know. Uh the he don't have the mental fortitude to deal with a Fury, man. You know. Um he cut the ring off good with Joseph Parker, but Joseph Parker don't have the type of footwork and he don't know how to use the ring like Tyson Fury. You know, Tyson Fury gonna gonna really fuck him up in there. You know. It'll be hard, hard to to, to deal with a guy like Tyson Fury in that ring, man. You know, especially when he's dropping his hands and doing all the little, you know, crazy little looks and all that old shit. That shit hard to deal with, man. If you ever, ever been in the ring, don't think because somebody dropped their hands that they, it's it's an easy target for, you know, you to land a shot on them. No, actually it's not. You know, they call it they call it uh, splitting the eye of the, of the defender, you know, uh when the guy's in front of you and he put he drop his hands, he got one hand high, or even he got both of them low, and he got uh, or he got one hand high, one hand low. Now it kind of fucks you up because you know you may think something that you if, if you in your mind you like okay, well damn, he dropped his hands, but if I go in here, I don't know what's, what what type of angle, how am I gonna block or defend myself when he if he catch me from with a shot from a weird ass angle. You know, so if you ever been in that type of experience before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's not that easy to deal with, man. You know, boxing is very, very mental. <clears throat> and you can get mentally fatigued, you know, by uh, getting confused in that ring. Real talk. But uh, I think Fury, Fury obliterate Joshua, man. It wouldn't, it'd be ugly out there, man. You'd really see the levels to it. And, yeah. But uh, let's move on to Big Baby Grimace, Cheeseburger, Miller, man. I got a love-hate relationship for Miller, man. I went in on Miller on my last video, but I understand his role. You know, he like shit. You know, I'm trying to put myself in position to to, to get this this free, this easy buffet, this food over here. You know, because he know he can uh, he know he can wear Joshua down and beat him. You know, he know that's that's a uh, a, he's a nightmare for Joshua in my opinion. I always said this. You know, some people don't, a lot of people don't agree with me, but I think Baby Miller is a nightmare for a lot of guys in the heavyweight division, whether I, uh, no matter how I feel about him. Like I said, I got a love-hate relationship with Big Baby Miller, 
But at the end of the day, I understand, <clears throat> you know, I understand boxing, you know, and I understand on the level then that, that a lot of others don't really understand, you know. Sometimes I may not uh, articulate it the way you want me to or talk about it enough, but believe when I tell you it's the truth. A guy like Big Baby Miller, you know, with his with his type of output, and I'm gonna tell you, he he he. If 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 he was if him and Joshua was to fight, Big Baby Miller was gonna he's gonna take chances. Joshua gonna really really have to let his hands go, because Big Baby Miller gonna really really try him. I'm not saying that he can't drop Big Baby Miller and no type of shit like that, but he gonna have to do that because Big Baby Miller gonna keep he gonna have the pressure on him. He ain't, he ain't gonna have to worry about uh Big Baby Miller. Not not jumping on him like like Parker didn't do. Big Baby Miller gonna jump on him. He gonna lean on him. He gonna pity pat. He gonna do all that shit and wear Joshua down. I'm trying to tell you, you know. So that ain't a good fight for uh, Anthony Joshua. He Big Baby Miller ain't a good fight for a lot of these guys in the big in the heavyweight division. You know, you can say you, you know people don't like the way he fight or whatever, but. He get the job done with that, with that, with with his style, with his. He wears people down. He he gets you tired, <laughs> you know, and that's just the truth. But uh, but last but not least, though, man, we moving on to the Bronze Bomber Wilder, the WBC Heavyweight Champion of the World, the number one champion heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder. The Alabama Slammer, ain't that what Joshua would say? You know I'm pecking the Alabama power. <laughs> Joshua's a cornball, man. This dude is a cornball for real. The shit he be saying, it just seems so flaky, man. But uh, anyway, Wilder will wreck Joshua. I'm just telling you straight up, man. Uh, there's no way... Joshua ain't going gonna, ain't gonna to be able to get that away from that right hand. He's going to have to start working on that now. If he really true if he really true about what he say he is about fighting Wilder, he better figure out something. Because, but, it, but, but the thing is, he's still not going to be able to get away from him because Wilder, Wilder jab is lethal. Wilder do a lot of stuff that people don't understand, that people don't really give him credit for, that he can do very well. He can punch to the body good. He can uh, hook off the jab. You know, I, man, look at here. And his defense is a little underrated, man. You know, he, his defense is a little underrated. He he know how to weather the storm. You got to give Wilder his credit. He know how to weather the storm. He know how to survive in that ring. He done, he done proved it time and time again. He ain't, you don't get 40 and over 39 knockouts, bro, without having no motherfucking defense. I don't give a fuck who you is, Jack. You feel me? You 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 just ain't gonna be no dumb ass motherfucker in there, knocking thirty nine motherfuckers out in forty fights, and you just getting getting plastered too. No, it don't work like that. But uh, jo uh Wilder Wilder would uh peel Anthony Joshua's wig back to the white meat. You know, uh, I think that that that's I don't think that fight go over five rounds. Uh, in a way, he he made it easy for Wilder. Wilder get to him first. He, Wilder can just go ahead and just stick his arm where Joshua got his arms connected around those belts to slide his right arm all off through there and keep that WBC green belt around his waist and right off to the sunset back to America. You know what I mean? But this your boy, JB Trap House Boxing. What you waiting on? Subscribe. Uh -huh.